everyone. I'm Mark Saltzman for Webwise Buys, seen exclusively on Butterscotch.com. Thanks for joining us. On today's segment, we're going to talk about how to save cash for those who want to install Windows 7 on their home or office PCs. Windows 7, of course, is Microsoft's latest and greatest operating system, but instead of spending 200 to 320 bucks on the full versions of this, uh, on the three different versions of the operating system, we're going to show you how to save some cash. There's five alternatives. We're also going to cover how to qualify for these uh, and or what you might be giving up in the process. All right, let's kick off the discussion at the Microsoft Store. This is the official online store where you can buy the uh, full version of the operating system, but tip number one is to upgrade instead of the full version. Instead of buying the full version of Windows 7, you can upgrade if you're a Windows Vista owner. And there is, by the way, a free tool on this website that will uh, scan your PC and see if you qualify for the upgrade from a technical standpoint. And if so, you can save a lot of cash without giving up any of the features or performance. For example, Windows 7 Home Premium Upgrade, you can see here, is 120 bucks compared to 200 for the full version. Similarly, the Professional Upgrade is 200 compared to 300 for Windows 7 Professional. And lastly, Windows 7 Ultimate, which has all the bells and whistles, is 220 for the upgrade compared to 320 for the full version. So as long as you've got a fairly new operating system like Vista, you'll be fine, just fine with the Windows Upgrade. And from all the reviews that I've read, you won't be uh, you know, sacrificing any performance issues. So you don't need the full version. All right, tip number two is if you're a student at a university or college, you can get the student and t teacher edition of uh, Microsoft software. You've probably seen that with uh, the Office suite of programs and also with Windows 7. For example, as you can see here in the bottom left corner of the screen, Windows 7 Pro upgrade is only $65 compared to $200 for the upgrade if you're not a student. All you have to do though is sign in with your college or university email address and that's how they verify that you are actually a student attending um, university or, or college, any post-secondary program that you might be in. On a related note, number three is that if you uh, work within the uh, tech world, if you are with part of Microsoft, the MSDN or developer network, that includes educators as well as IT professionals, software developers, you're also eligible eligible rather to pick up Windows 7 at a discounted price. So all you have to do is uh, visit the MSDN website and you can click on the Windows um, tab to look, look at that uh, Microsoft store from an MSDN perspective, which does give you software deals on Office and on Windows 7 and other products, software products for uh, Windows and Mac. So you definitely want to check out to see if you are eligible for the MSDN uh, discount. All right, number four, be sure, and this goes for any piece of hardware or software you're buying online, is to use some of these uh, search comparison engines. These basically scour the web to all the different stores, some brick and mortar, some online only, some a bit of both, and gives you the best deal. And then also lets you see how much shipping and uh, other issues are. You know, you want to make sure that there's a re refund policy and all that as well. So here is Next Tag, for example. It's a comparison shopping engine. So it shows you here that uh, Royal uh, has the best deal on Windows 7. It's an OEM version, which basically means there's no box. We'll get to that in a moment. It's just the disk, but with free shipping and less than 100 bucks, it's, it's telling you that it's the best bang for your buck here compared to you know over $200 at some stores, such as nothingbutsoftware.com. So make sure you check out those shopping engines. There's no shortage of them, and Next Tag is uh, one of my favorites. And on a related note, shoparchive.com, this is a website we're looking at here, also sells software without the box. So these are OEM versions. It's just a disk and a sleeve. If you don't need any of that, the um, manuals or full boxes, so not for a present or anything like that, but if you're buying it for yourself, you can also save cash. For example, for 72 bucks, you can pick up the Windows 7 Home Premium Upgrade compared to 200 bucks if you bought it through the Microsoft Store. So here you're saving some cash as well, um, very close to the student uh, price of 65. So definitely a great uh, deal here. And it goes up to 132 bucks for the ultimate upgrade. If you bought that through Microsoft, it would be 220 for the upgrade or 320 for the full version of Windows 7 Ultimate. So we hope we gave you some great ideas here. If you have any questions or comments about WebWise Buys, send your emails to wwb at butterscotch.com. I'm Mark Saltzman. Thanks for watching.